sounds good. We got myself. Mm. <laughs> you know, just listening to you playing that song kind of reminds me. I'm actually reflecting on when we were going through something tough last, what, two, three weeks now? And that song actually came to my mind. You know, as humans, we're always going to be going through something. You know, we're always going to have those rock bottom experiences. Dale and I kind of went through something like that a couple of weeks ago. And this song, actually, it brought me through, you know. And I just, on reflecting, I wanted to share with you guys what were some of the practical things that we did to kind of get through that moment here's how we got through that difficult time for me i repeat the serenity prayer i don't even have it handy right now but basically it talks about lord granting you the strength to accept the things that you can change and the courage to um change the things that you, you can, can and the wisdom to know the difference no, and the wisdom to know the difference right so i repeated that a couple of times because many times you're in these situations it's not necessarily you put yourself in it you know life just happens you know you can lose somebody you can have a medical scare all of these things are just natural human processes another thing i did is that i did my part and i left the rest up to god so say it is that you're having some medical complications I don't know say for example that you are constipated and you haven't pooped in two weeks <laughs> i know that's kind of a outlandish example but how you can do what you can obviously you're gonna watch what you eat you're gonna ensure that you know you include a lot more vegetables in your diet a lot more fluids you know and do away with food that you know aid in the constipation process so that is an example of doing what you can because as I mentioned before you're gonna go through some things where you can control all of it you know and then the third thing I did was I sought professional advice you seek professional help from your doctors or your nurses or even if you have those individuals in your family so that's kind of what I did or what I focused on to kind of help me get through that rough patch basically someone in our family was very ill and it was really difficult for us to process and understand why and we were in the middle of it and so these were the three things that i did i repeated the serenity prayer i considered things that i could literally do to alleviate the situation and then in the end or the other thing i did was that i sought professional help right and above all you know i have to remind myself that as a christian i have to have a lot more faith that's why that song is so dear to us because, or dear to me because it talks about trusting in Jesus in God's hand there is no script that is predictable there is no storyline that is inevitable and there is no outcome that is certain and just as our God flipped the story I don't know if you guys are familiar in the Bible in Esther about the story of um, the Jews and Mordecai and Xerxes and how God instantly changed the outcome of what would have happened to the Jews concerning Haman's plot to get rid of that entire race of people. So, you know, I just have to remind myself about these things in order to have mental sanity to move forward because, again, it's just part of life. But when you're literally in it, honestly, sometimes I forget the principles of faith and so I hope those three practical things that I shared earlier will strengthen you to keep pressing when you're going through those situations. Thank you for listening. The three things that helped me to get through that very difficult time we were having with our family member was firstly, I had to stay focused on God. I had to remind myself to stay focused on God, not on the problem, on the situation, on what was stressing me out, but to stay focused on God. And staying focused on God practically means reminding yourself of His promises. And so if God says that He's not going to leave you or forsake you, you have to remind yourself, God's not going to leave me or forsake me. So remind yourself of God's promises. That's the first thing I did. Secondly, like David, I encouraged myself. One of my mentors says, stressing over it is not going to make it any better or fretting Worrying over it is not going to make it any better. And so your perspective as you're going through the difficulties is very, very important. And so encourage yourself so that as you're going through, you have peace and you have joy. And then finally, I did the next thing. And so um, do the next thing, meaning what is it that you can do in the situation to help the situation? All right. So for example, if it's praising God in advance for carrying you through or for resolving the situation, then do that. 
if doing the next thing is finding additional ways that you can work on the problem or work on a solution, then do that. As opposed to sitting and worrying, just do the next thing. And so my three things were, first, focusing on God, presenting back His promises to Him. Uh, secondly, I encouraged myself. And then finally, I did the next thing. And so hopefully those three things will help you. Hopefully three things that Shalini mentioned will help you as well. Thank you for joining us. Listen, it's January. January is ending. Uh, we got to stay encouraged. You know, when difficulties come, as they will come, or as they have come already, you got to find ways to, to get through it. Whatever we go through should make us stronger. We hope the lessons that we learned from our experience, the tips we use to get through our difficulty will help you as you go through your challenges, finding faith, and being stronger on the other side. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you on Sunday.